Neil from Essex here to show you a cool example of a top and tilt on the back of a compact tractor. As we go around and we review different models and show off their features and benefits, we often talk about a tractor's three-point hitch and how deluxe tractors have much nicer three-point hitches with additional kind of adjustability on it, whether it be sway bars or extendable link arms or ratcheting side links. But all of those can't even hold a candle to the flexibility that you can have in a top and tilt kit. Today we're going to talk about the additional range of motion that this feature gives you and some new options that are out there on the market that actually make this a halfway affordable option where in the past it was out of reach for so many people. Six, a helping hand with your land. So looking at the back of the tractor, it's very easy to see the different components here that are involved in a top and tilt. Usually on most of your tractors from the factory, you're going to have a traditional top link here that has two ball ends with a screw assembly in the middle that you turn in order to change the length. That here can very simply be swapped out with a hydraulic cylinder. So you're gonna have the same balls that go in the back of your tractor or onto your implement, but this cylinder now can be adjusted from the cab. It's important that you not throw just any old cylinder back here because there's still geometry considerations. The stroke length of the cylinder matters as does the size of the barrel back here in the cylinder itself. So it's best to try to stick with ones that are made for your tractor but dropping a cylinder in here can give you that added range of motion now, right? We're not having to get off the machine and twist the top link in order to change its length. You could do it right from the comfort of the cab. The side link is the same way. Many tractors are gonna come through with fixed side links, sometimes not adjustable. Sometimes you'll have that same barrel that you need to turn with jam nuts there to make adjustments. Or every once in a while on the most deluxe models, you can have some ratcheting adjustments to change the length. But none of those are nearly as good as dropping a hydraulic cylinder in back here. That's gonna do much the same as what this top link does. By operating that cylinder, we can now change that side link position to twist our implements from left to right. Both of these cylinders are gonna plug into a set of rear remotes. So this tractor has two factory rear remotes on it in order to operate these two cylinders. Sometimes you're gonna see machines come through stacked up with even three or four to be able to operate additional functions that might be back on grading implements that are often pulled by this kind of setup. So understanding those functions, let me show you here how the range of motion here changes. By operating that top link here, you can see that I can rotate this quick coupler front and back. That's gonna allow me to say, change the angle of my implement from sitting up here in the seat or using my other function, I can now twist it left to right. The implements that benefit the most from a top and tilt setup tend to be those that are ground engaging, say a box blade like this. Now this one's too small for this tractor, but it gives an idea what we're talking about. If you're trying to say crown a driveway, you need to be able to take that box blade and throw it say, uh, tilted left to right from the tractor a little bit. Now you can make that adjustment normally using the adjustment that's gonna be the manual screw on the side of your, your three-point hitch. But in the case of this, I can simply work the hydraulic cylinder here in order to tilt my box blade left to right to be able to cut that crown. Conversely, if I wanted to adjust the amount of dirt that was coming out the back of the box blade and adjust the height of my cutting edge in relation to the ground, I can now adjust the top link left and right in order to change that approach angle and change how much soil is gonna slip out the back underneath that cutting edge. Little adjustments like that can be made up here in the cab while you're working as opposed to having to jump out of the machine and make manual adjustments of your three point. Now, if you're shopping for a new tractor, would I recommend this? For most people, no. I see too many people go through the build and price tools of configuring their machine and wanna check off every option because why would you not want this? This is awesome. But this is costly and the bits here add up pretty quickly. Uh, rear remotes, you're usually 800 to $1,000 per outlet. Here you need two. These side links and top links for customized hydraulic cylinders with special fittings on them, you can get into a couple hundred dollars for each of these cylinders and before long you've added nearly $3,000 to the back of this tractor. 
And I'd say that's $3,000 that if you're gonna spend it, you're gonna wanna know that you have the specific applications that you're gonna be doing with this machine that are really going to benefit from it. Things like dirt work and grading and those sort of things, because as nice as it is to make these adjustments from the cab, I, dollars for convenience for me personally doesn't quite add up. Now some of the costing here is improving actually believe it or not. If we look at the way that Kubota has addressed third function valves right the hydraulics that you put out on front of your tractor you can buy a Kubota made and engineered third function valve that's going to be really tidy using the best components and hard lines tucked up out of the way so that you don't see dangling wires and hoses or you can go and you can buy that third function kit from the Lamb Pride division, also owned by Kubota, but maybe built with rubber hoses and maybe not built with the most high-end components and you're gonna save a little bit of money. Kubota's now doing exactly the same thing now with top and tilt kits. So in the past, these have been offered for L-Series and MX-Series tractors. They still are, but there's also gonna be Lamb Pride variants now that are a little bit less expensive construction. And you're also gonna have kits available now for some smaller tractors. So going down into the LX series machines, we're gonna be able to offer more top and tilt kits for those as well. We have these in stock now. If you click on the links in the description or float around up here in the top, it'll take you to messix.com where you can see what we've got available today for your tractor. Great stuff, right? I would love to have a setup like this on the back of my tractor and have the work to justify it because just watching this thing move and the added range of motion and functionality that you get out of it, I think is really cool. And if you like nuts and bolts and you appreciate machinery, uh, you could definitely see the value in this very, very quickly. If we can help you out with a setup like this or if you've got parts of service needs for other equipment that you've got, give us a call at Messix. We're available at 800-222-3373 or online at messix.com. Added functionality like this seems super appealing, right? Like who would not want their machine set up this way?